Tail of the tape. These guys match up pretty even, but the thing to look at here is the last minute, uh, you know, acceptance of the fight by Constantine. That's going to hurt him. He's really going to have to dig deep for this. All right, fans, here we go. Glory Sports International present lightweights in the ring. We're scheduled three three-minute rounds. Introducing to you first on my right, he is fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks, he weighed in at 70 kilos. With a record of 41 wins, five losses, he has 28 wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the former Europe, Japan, and ISKA champion from Romania, introducing Konstantin Hanabo-Pashnichu. And his opponent across the ring on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white trunks with green trim. He weighed in at 69.8 kilos. His record, 30 wins, 2 losses, and 2 draws, with 18 wins coming by way of knockout. Joining us from Paris, France, here is the 2012 ISKA Super Welterweight Champion and the three-time French Muay Thai Champion, known as Young Perez, Johan. And our referee in charge now to give instructions, introducing Yop Ubeda. Los. Okay, fighters, in order, you want a clean fight? No headbutts, no elbows, no clean and long back. After making a moment, break is very stop to be all okay? If it's a good fight, she against him with the back. I would have to say that uh, young Perez in his corner will probably be prepared for a rush by Constantine Hannibal. I think so. Well, let's not forget that Hannibal was training for a fight two weeks from this date, so he was in camp already. <laughs> look oh, at the look in his eye, though. Well, going with a beautiful punch and kick combination right away in this early part of round number one. Favu in the southpaw stance, ripping the inside of that leg. Favu so sharp thus far, early on in round one. So crisp in his punches, his kicks. There's that middle kick you talked about, Frank. Yeah, and Favu loves Mexican warriors. He's a huge fan of Arturo Gotti. And much like uh, the late Mexican warrior, Favu loves a fire fight. He'd love to turn this into a knockdown, drag out, nose to nose boxing match. He also teaches boxing and has been a professional boxer, winning four out of three of his pro boxing Come. matches. Oh, oh we heard that. that. <laughs> yes, we heard that. When you hear that, you pop sound. Uh, okay. It means that the person just struck with a low blow. It's a warning. It's a mistake. It was unintentional. Beautiful. And Constantine shooting a good right hand to the body. Pashnichuk looking for a way in. Yeah, Pashnichuk cannot stay on the outside like this. He's got to press the action and get Fogu moving back. A good one, too, but it was mainly blocked. Hannibal is pressing forward, but favu has got great defense. Just little, little tiny moves with his head. A lot of people in kickboxing don't use a lot of head movement like that. I think that this is something they got to watch for from a guy like this. Yeah, it's just from his boxing training. Exactly. It's the small things. The front, back, side to side, movement of the head. Oh, that low kick was dynamite. Almost sent the Romanian down. Nice thing, so it's very straight up and down, very European. But he's staying on the outside too much. If anything, because he's a little bit shorter, he should press the action and get in close and go to the body, then the head. Because being on the outside like this is getting picked a little bit. Just like that, I agree. I think he's the bigger man tonight, cutting all that weight and putting yeah. him back in. Yeah, I, I think he should try and bully uh, Fabu. 
because things like that, even if you block a kick like that, that hurts. Like, and hurts. you know this. Yeah, broke one, broke one of those, broke my arm one night. Oh, good roundhouse kick by Postichuk. He's coming on now. He's coming on. But we'll be feeling it. Good overhand right by Postichuk. No but Favu answers back. Good kick to the body by Young Perez. What a great technical first round. A lot of respect shown. Fighter to fighter right there. Great first round. We wanted a firefight. He stepped into one tonight. I have to see that firefight came a little bit late for Hoffenchuk in that round. Uh, they spent very little time feeling each other out, but Fubu working that inside leg kick real nicely, cuts the legs out from underneath Pashnachuk, and, you know, it was all, uh, it was all range and distance in this one. Fubu just understanding where the range is. Took a little shots here and there, but I think he won the game on controlling the range and doing more damage. I completely agree, and guess what? The, uh, judges agree too. Agree as well. I, I think that's true. I think that uh, Hosnachuk was coming Four on, out. but he didn't win enough long. with the round. Seconds out, please. Now, please. So we may see some adjustments coming from the man from Romania. Meaning, he cannot wait. He's got to be first. We're doing nice work from the southpaw stance, chopping the body, working the inside leg of Constantine. Keeping her bay. Look at that combination by Fubu, but then oh. Chuk jumps on him. He's on him. Tries to get rough here. And that's what he's got to do. That's that inside, that's that body kick, I'm sorry, that Fubu was talking about. He says that's his money. Fubu, really a busy fighter, picks his shots. Rarely misses. And that's a key factor here in the fighting game. Nice to is trying to right, come, get him on. in a corner, pin him on the ropes. Romania is trying to get him right in front of him so he can tee off. Romania has produced some great warriors. As a matter of fact, Daniel Gita, the number two ranked heavyweight in the world, is going to be up against Gokan Saki in a rematch at Glory 6 in Istanbul in two weeks on April 6th. Don't forget to check that out on GloryWorldSeries.com where you can get the pay-per-view. Mastichuk still looking for a way inside. Yeah. Fubu easily keep him at bay with that jab. Fubu is such a complete warrior. Such a complete warrior when it comes to evading. He's got a pretty good chin because he's caught a few of those on the butt. Yeah, but a lot of them are getting caught on the shoulders. He's a very intelligent fighter because it's a rough and tumble fight because it's not like Parson Chuk is doing nothing. He's coming forward, he's, he's landing, but he's landing onto the legs and arms mainly of Fabu. I think Fabu made a slight adjustment. He's not being as aggressive. In round number two, I think he's trying to see what uh, the other man will offer and see because a lot of times the partial shoot is the offensive guy to leave an opening. The partial shoot coming forward, but he's not landing. See, that's the problem. He's, he's landing. He's Lose. being aggressive, but yeah. they're getting picked off on the gloves and the shoulders. Like and that. He's getting damaged on the way out. Yeah. And like that, the jab, I mean. Oh, nice digging to the body, that right hook uppercut. It's like a check uppercut. There's that big left kick to the body, and again, Favu scoring with one of his longer limbs, his left leg. Oh, taste the toes. There it is. Beautiful job. Close round, man. Tell you. Hodgichuk knew he had to turn things up, but was it or no? I'm not sure. I don't think it was. No. I think Fabu with the jab yeah. and working that inside of body kick is really dominating the strike. You know, the, the game of striking doing more damage. 
because here we are, they're rumbling on the inside. The, the left hook landed, but most of those others were shielded, a couple of punches, but he was slipping and sliding on the way in, so there was a lot of power. Not a lot of power, and the, the power shots are these body kicks and leg kicks that Fufu was landing. Everything else is pretty much blocked. He's just peekabooing and looking for his opening and then cracking on him. You know, Hannibal, he's a killer, man. You can tell. He's got massive punching power, and he's got a killer eye for throwing that shot. But he just can't Seconds get Fufu to slow please. down and get Seconds range. Out. All those misses. Seconds out, please. Red corner. Oh, oh, we got a little bit of split action here. Okay. We've got uh, three judges, which is the majority, that go for Fufu winning that round number two. <laughs> yes. A lot of points at the end of this fight. Oh, whoa! Bozachuk staying in the pocket. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. He ticked him hard on that one. Mm. They just had a good rhythm going. Oh, that was too bad. Because they were just standing right in the pocket. Look at that. I'm going to bounce him. Please, no. Uh, I thought maybe you obeyed him. He's going to do a suplex. Does that help? Does that, I, 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 I guess, because now he's back. I mean, he must be so right back. Here. Maybe you learned that from a chiropractor. Fight. Oh, yeah, they're going to tee off, man. Yeah, they're, they're going to go guns a blazing right here. Center yeah. in the ring. you got to watch that left kick go to the leg, though. Fumble yeah. doesn't need another low kick because uh, he could get a point taken away. But Barton Shoot knows. And he's got to come in here and just blast away, bringing it. He's got to do at least one knockdown. Possibly two. See, the funny thing is, Robert Bozichuk starts to get his punching rhythm down. Fabu low kicks him and sets him up balance. Yeah. Fabu's doing a nice job of switching between sort of boxing and kickboxing. He boxes when he needs to, and he goes back to kicking when the boxing comes back to him. He's one of the most scientific fighters I've seen in a while. I mean, he's really relaxed, composed. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. Right off oh. the body. I'm telling you, his timing, his distance, he's really like a future fighter. Isn't he? He's got nice skills. He's very confident. Seems like he's just getting warmed up. Both guys starting to really gun it out. They're going to get nose to nose here in a minute. Bozichu just got to get rougher here, but it's, you know what, it's that lack of preparation from the short yeah. notice. I think that's it. And if he were a little sharper, had a little more time. But nonetheless, Bozichu, even if he loses this fight, he's making a good, good showing for himself. Oh, good right hook to the body by Fabu. Oh, haircut. Throws a right kick for a change. Here they are, nose to nose. One minute left here in round number three. Who will take it? Fafu in the green and white. Or the fiery man from Romania in Pozichu. A good right hand by Fafu. Fafu digging. Oh, that was that. Oh, that was definitely he punched, he punched him low. It was a low blow. He <laughs> just go ahead and fight. Yeah, I mean, it didn't hurt. You know, it was just a little blow. Yeah. He's thinking to himself, what do I have to do with this guy to put him down or out? I mean, come on. But we were just hitting him with some good shots, especially to the body. I think they're just going to go for it. Whoa! Is that legal? It is if it lands, but it didn't. But man, the front flip. Oh, he almost landed that head kick. Oh, he's trying to see they're trying to outdo each other here. But the has got this in the back for sure. And well deserved, I think. That was great. Man. Who's one to remember? Win or lose, that man there, Constantine Hannibal Pozenchuk, really gave it his all. He earned his stones tonight, and uh, when what a fight! I mean, Fubu technically very, very sound, controlling the range, controlling the distance, really doing nice damage with these inside kicks. He almost ate a giant knee there and had dental dental surgery. But uh, when it came when it came to punching and kicking in combination, he was just brilliant, keeping the range, holding the range. And when they got into firefights, they were letting them go. And I think his defense pretty much almost completely shut down Pazinchuk's offense. 
was one of those things where his his offense was great, but and then, that, <laughs> whoops, step to the side. Well, hey, it's a good thing say. you step to the side because you don't want to get knocked out with that. No, kick. no, no, no. no. <laughs> That's an interesting kick. I think uh, we saw Harold Howard do that in the UFC That's one right. time back in the day. Yeah, don't hate the mullet, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, our panel of five judges have a score total of 148 to 137 in favor of the winner in the red corner, Young Perez, Johan Fu. Very close matchup, 148 to 137.